हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम इन दी ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज आई एम डॉक्टर बाला साहब पगार असोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन केमिस्ट्री श्रीमती विमलाबेन खेमजी तेजुकाया आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज देवरेल क्याम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस स्टार्ट अबाउट द इंडस्ट्रियल केमिस्ट्री सो इंडस्ट्रियल केमिस्ट्री दैट टॉपिक इंक्लूड मॉडर्न अप्रोच टू केमिकल इंडस्ट्री मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ बेसिक केमिकल्स शुगर एंड फर्मेंटेशन इंडस्ट्री सोप एंड डिटर्जेंट इंडस्ट्री डाइज एंड पिगमेंट सो दिस इंडस्ट्रियल केमिस्ट्री इंक्लूड फाइव टॉपिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉडर्न अप्रोच टू केमिकल इंडस्ट्री सो एवरी केमिकल इंडस्ट्री दैट मस्ट बी रिक्वायर्ड सम बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स सो टुडेज लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द रॉ मटेरियल विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द केमिकल इंडस्ट्री यूनिट प्रोसेस यूनिट ऑपरेशन क्वालिटी कंट्रोल एंड प्रोसेस कंट्रोल सो जनरली एवरी केमिकल इंडस्ट्री दैट मस्ट बी हैविंग ए सच टाइप ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट्स और सच सच टाइप ऑफ द बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स सो स्टूडेंट मस्ट बी लर्न अबाउट द रॉ मटेरियल सो लॉ रॉ मटेरियल विच इज मस्ट बी कमिंग फ्रॉम द अनदर इंडस्ट्री many times the raw material which is coming from the farming so raw material is most important factor in the chemical industry unit process means the different types of the reactions which are carried out in the company unit operation means the different types of the reactions that required different types of the equipment so operation part means the work up and the reaction part that is temperature conditions were maintained and quality of the compound which is controlled by the quality control department and process control so all these points are very important in the chemical industry so student must be understand all these points so every chemical industry that required the basic basic uh, for example uh, raw material uh, that is maybe coming from the industry or one raw material which is maybe end product of the one industry that may be the starting compound of the another industry so we use in day to day life different types of the chemicals for example we use toothpaste and toothpaste also manufacture in the chemical industry toothpaste uh, also required some of the basic chemicals so chemical chemistry plays an important role in the manufacture of large number of products so different types of the product we use in day to day life only a very small portion of the chemical industry only very small portion of the industry which is included in the chemical industry the industries which produce aluminum aluminum iron or the mega industries like automobile industry which is not a chemical industry chemical industry means there is must be conversion of the reactants into the product means the chemical industry every chemical industry that must be required a starting compound and the reagents solvent electricity and the other basic requirements so chemi every chemical industry that must be having such type of the facilities so chemical industry is most important because we use all these chemicals in day to day life for example the toothpaste soap detergents all these are the products of the chemical industry so chemical industry deal with the manufacture of the product from the raw material so for example uh, cane sugar which is coming from the farming and that cane sugar after process convert into the sugar or after process that convert into the alcohol so raw material for the manufacture of alcohol is the molasses and molasses which is coming from the sugar sugar cane so chemical industries provide us many valuable products like sugar sugar is one of the most important product because we consume uh, sugar near about 13% of the energy source for the man which is coming from the carbohydrates drugs we use drugs different types of the drugs which is also manufactured in the different industries then synthetic fibers for example cloth ropes all these are uh, converted uh, all these are manufactured in the chemical industry plastic rubber then detergents cosmetics dyes paint pharmaceutical paper kerosene petrol cooking gas fertilizers pesticides insecticides all these are manufactured in the chemical industry and all these compounds that required a basic raw material so every chemical industry that must be required basic raw material 
सो बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द केमिकल इंडस्ट्री मीन्स एवरी केमिकल इंडस्ट्री मस्ट बी हैविंग सम बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल एवरी केमिकल इंडस्ट्री दैट मस्ट बी हैविंग ए रॉ मटेरियल सो दैट रॉ मटेरियल मे बी कमिंग फ्रॉम दी फार्मिंग और मे बी कमिंग फ्रॉम दी अनादर इंडस्ट्री एंड मेनी टाइम्स रॉ मटेरियल विच इज ऑल्सो सिंथेसाइज इन द सेम इंडस्ट्री मीन्स कन्वर्ट वन कंपाउंड इन टू दी अनादर कंपाउंड सो केमिकल चेंजेस टेक्स प्लेस एंड दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड रॉ मटेरियल विच इज रिक्वायर्ड देन यूनिट प्रोसेस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द रिएक्शंस देन यूनिट ऑपरेशन मीन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द इक्विपमेंट एंड द क्वालिटी ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट विच इज मेंटेन बाय यूजिंग ए क्वालिटी कंट्रोल डिपार्टमेंट सो द क्वालिटी कंट्रोल डिपार्टमेंट मस्ट बी वॉच द इनकमिंग कंपाउंड्स एज वेल एज आउट गोइंग कंपाउंड्स देन प्रोसेस कंट्रोल मीन्स द टेम्परेचर प्रेशर ऑल दीज वेरिएबल्स also important in the chemical industry some of the reaction that must be carried out at a specific temperature or at the specific pressure and all these things must be maintained by using a process control department so raw material first point is the raw material any substance or the chemical which can be processed to produce the desired product is called as the raw material so that raw material may be coming from the farming so for example sugar cane which is coming from the farming then sugar cane after process convert into the sugar or the molasses and different types of the chemicals also manufactured by using a sugar cane so sugar cane is one of the raw material for example benzene benzene is the one of the raw material which is required for the synthesis of dyes as well as the synthesis of different types of the pharmaceutical compounds so different types of the industry that required a different types of the raw material so raw material which is maybe coming from the natural source raw material which is maybe from the synthetic source so raw material which is coming from the natural source for example carbon compounds these are obtained from the coal so most of the carbon compounds which is obtained from the coal so coal that convert into the different types of the raw material for example carbon carbon double bonds or the triple bond saturated hydrocarbons which is coming from the petrochemical industry animal material animal material which is also the raw material then vegetable material mineral oils natural gas all these are the natural sources for example uh, cobalt vitamin b12 which is isolated from the animals so most important source of the vitamin b12 which is coming from the animal material so different types of the chemicals which is also isolated from the different types of the raw material some raw material which is coming from the natural source and some of the raw material which is coming from the synthetic source hydrogen gas which is required in the chemical industry it is obtained mainly from the water naphtha natural gas or the coal so hydrogen gas also required for example manufacture of ammonia that required the hydrogen gas some uh, reduction reaction in some reduction reaction also required the hydrogen gas so hydrogen gas is one of the most important raw material nitrogen and oxygen which is obtained from the air so nitrogen gas which is isolated from the air or the oxygen also required in the chemical industry also required in the medical hospitals so hydrogen uh, sorry oxygen or the nitrogen which is directly obtained from the air then chlorine and nawh chlorine is required for the purification of the water so generally water which is uh, purified by using the chlorine nawh is commonly used a uh, common salt means nawh which is required in the different chemical industry means every chemical industry that must be required the sodium hydroxide so which is obtained from the sodium chloride okay so sulfur and phosphorus chlorine and other inorganic compounds these are also obtained from the mineral source another raw material sodium chloride it is raw material for the making of soda ash manufacture of the aluminium so that also required the sodium chloride so sodium chloride may be used in the flux then caustic soda it is one of the most important ingredient in the preparation of soap and detergent so caustic soda mostly the caustic soda required in the manufacture of the soap and detergent molasses is one of the raw uh, by product of the uh, sugar industry and which is the main product oh, sorry which is the starting compound for the manufacture of the alcohol so alcohol generally ethyl alcohol which is manufactured by using the molasses so sugar cane industry convert the sugar cane into the sucrose means the sugar and remaining liquor 
that uh, that is known as a molasses that must be contain a different types of the carbohydrates means reduce sugar or the some carbohydrates means sugar so after fermentation we get the alcohol so molasses is one of the raw material required for the manufacture of alcohol so benzene is one of the most important raw material so different types of the chemical industry that require the benzene for example the nitration nitrobenzene manufacture of the nitrobenzene means the raw material for the manufacture of nitrobenzene is the benzene and the H hno3 means nitric acid so benzene is required then phenol aniline caprolactam ddt styrene insecticide different types of the dyes also manufactured by using the benzene so benzene is also one of the most important chemical that is required every chemical industry benzene is also used as a solvent so petrochemical fractions raw material use, uh, used in the manufacture of polymers so polymer that is a long chain alkenes or the long chain carbohydrate uh, long chain compounds which is also manufactured by using a petrochemical industry means after breaking of the fraction that convert into the carbon carbon double bonds or the dyes means uh, one four dye or the single bond that is required for the manufacture of the different types of the polymer so one three butadiene which is required for the polymerization reaction which is coming from the petrochemical fraction means petro petrochemical fraction is also one of the raw material naphthalene also required in the different chemical industry for example dyes polyester uh, that require the naphthalene naphthalene which is again coming from the petrochemical fraction non edible or linseed oil which is the cheaper raw material for the manufacture of the soap means soap industry that required the non edible oil we know in the non edible oil uh, means there is a long chain ester and that after the reaction that convert into the soap means sodium salts of the long chain ester that reacts with NaOH and convert into the sodium acetate and long chain sodium acetate is known as a soap so this non edible oil is uh, required for the manufacture of the soap then next uh, must uh, most important uh, that is a unit process unit process means the chemical conversion means one compound or one functional group that convert into the another functional group by using a chemical reaction different types of the chemical reactions uh, carried out in the industry so unit process is described as the commercialization of a chemical reaction so that reaction must be commercialized means there is a maintain of the temperature uh, most uh, yield of the compound must be high so that is known as a commercialization means that required uh, that uh, reduce the cost of the manufacturing uh, reduce the manufacturing cost so unit process means different types of the reactions involved in the manufacture of the chemicals it deals with the chemical reactions involving in the manufacturing means uh, for example conversion of the carbonyl group into the alcohol or al after oxidation of the alcoholic group that convert into the ketone means different types of the compounds that convert means different types of the uh, starting compound that having a different types of the functional group that functional group convert into the another functional group that is known as a unit process so unit process having a different types of the reactions reaction involved by the variable such as temperature pressure so all these parameters also important means some of the chemical reaction which is highly sensitive toward the temperature means if we increase or decrease the temperature then reaction rate may be increase or decrease so cost may be increase or decrease which is also depends upon the pressure concentration and temperature so all these things must be maintained some of the unit process for example alkylation alkylation is one of the most important unit process uh, so for example aromatic compounds undergo alkylation so aromatic compounds is required the starting compound so al aromatic compounds after alkylation that gives the corresponding alkyl benzenes or aromatic alkyl compounds condensation means removal of the small molecule from the substrate means removal of small molecule from the substrate and they, that convert into the another compound maybe alcohol maybe water maybe remove from the substrate means the starting compound cyclization is also important chemical reaction in which there is a cyclization takes place means maybe for example two carbon carbon double bond that add with each other and convert into the cyclic compound that is also known as a cyclization or in some reaction uh, aromatic compounds 
uh, if there is a presence of carbonyl carbon double bond then there is also convert the cyclic compound then cracking and pyrolysis this is the most important used in the uh, important chemical uh, reaction that is used in the petrochemical industry so petrochemical industry after cracking and pyrolysis we get a different types of the compounds and which is maybe raw material for the another industry so for example carbon carbon double bond and 1,4 butadiene which is manufactured by using a cracking and pyrolysis process dehydrogenation means removal of the hydrogen dehydration means removal of the water in some chemical reaction there is a removal of hydrogen or there is removal of the water so removal of hydrogen means the oxidation diazotization and coupling reaction this is also required in the dyes industry diazonium salt is one of the starting compound in the dyes industry because of the formation of a strong bond with a cloth or a different material polymerization reaction means the starting compound if contain a carbon carbon double bond or that polymerize in presence of a catalyst and convert into the long chain compound so that is known as a polymer means n times of the monomer units so monomer that convert into the polymers esterification is also most important reaction means the acid that convert into the ester hydrolysis then hydrogenation halohydrogenation all these are the chemical reaction isomerization isomerization means the we know the isomer means the molecular formula is same and structural formula is different so many times one isomer that may be convert into the another isomer by the application of heat or the by the application of a pressure ion exchange ion exchange is also one of the reaction there is a exchange of the ions nitration sulfonation these are the electrophilic substitution reaction so aromatic compounds undergo reaction with a nitric acid or aromatic compound on reaction with sulfuric acid that convert into the nitration or sulfonation and oxidation also required in the chemical industry means maybe addition of the oxygen removal of the hydrogen that is known as a oxidation so all these are the small all these are the chemical reactions that is carried out in the chemical industry so all these reactions are very important in the manufacturing of the different types of the compounds means one functional group that convert into the another functional group by using all these reactions so another uh, most important factor that is a unit operation unit operation means the small instrument or the instrument which is required for the carrying out the reactions sometimes after reaction wor work up of the reaction that is also required some types of the instrument so different types of the instrument required for the manufacture of the compounds the operation carried out by designing a process in uh, involve a engineer's work with a specific purpose and with the help of a specific type of the equipment used in the chemical reaction so all these known as a unit operation the raw material in every chemical process has to undergo several chemical changes or the physical changes so starting compound that having a different types of the functional group that convert into the another functional group so property of that compound may be change so after uh, work up means after completion of the reaction the work up of the reaction by using a different types of the instruments for example this is the just filtration flask filtration flask which is required for the filtration means after completion of the reaction so reaction means the solid part which is separated by using by the uh, from the mother liquor so mother liquor which is separated by using a filtration so filtration may be attached with a suction so this such type of the equipment used in the chemical reaction that is known as a unit operation or the another example for example separating funnel so separating funnel which is required in the chemical industry for example some comp some organic compounds which are maybe partially soluble in the solvent like water so such compounds uh, removed from the water is very uh, important because such compounds are slightly soluble in water and that may be uh, goes into the water so by using a some organic solvents we can separate that compounds from the water extract that compound from the water by using a separating funnel means if we add the organic compound into the water so organic compound which is not miscible in the water but the compound which is dissolved in the water that is miscible in the organic compound organic solvent so solvent organic solvent extract organic molecules from the liquor mother liquor and which is separated so this is also one of the 
unit operation. So different types of the equipment which is required for the manufacture of the compounds. Different types of the chemicals, manufacture of the different types of the chemical required a different types of the equipment. That is known as a unit operation. Some of the unit operation, different types of the unit operations, for example, adsorption. So adsorption, for example, we use a carbon powder, maybe bone, uh, bone carbon, maybe used in some chemical industry. So after completion of the reaction, that may be having some different types of the impurities. Colored impurity, which is removed by using a carbon. If we add the carbon into the chemical, in the mother liquor, so carbon that adsorbs a colored particles, colored impurity and separate the mother liquor from the colored impurity. So adsorption also used in the chemical reaction. Different types of the adsorption which is maybe add into the chemical reaction. Crystallization after workup of the reaction that compound may be crystallized by using a different types of the solvent. So choose of the solvent in this way that compound must be insoluble at the room temperature and soluble at the hot condition. Means if the compound which is insoluble in the alcohol and at the hot condition that is soluble in the alcohol. So alcohol used as a solvent. So crystallization is also one of the unit operation. Drying and high vacuum distillation. So by using a drying and high vacuum that uh, required to dry the compound and also under the uh, vacuum compound property of the compound not change. Some of the compound which is unstable at the high temperature. So such type of the compound uh, may be solvent which is removed by under a vacuum pressure. So evaporation is also one of the unit operation. Solvent extraction, we discuss solvent extraction, washing of the solid, then solid by using a uh, desirable solvent, then centrifugation. Centrifugation means the solid particle which is if present in the uh, reaction mixture that is settled down at the bottom by using a centrifugation, then distillation and sublimation which is required to purify the solvent or the compound. So, so uh, chemical liquid compound which is uh, purified by using a distillation method. Some of the liquid product which is, dis, uh, which is purified by using a distillation method. And sublimation, some of the compounds for example naphthalene which is sublimized means directly convert into the air means directly convert into the vapor means solid directly convert into the vapor such type of the compounds uh, purify by using a sublimation process and some of the uh, unit operations are screening and sieving this also one of the unit operation then filtration dissolution and mixing all these are the unit operations required for the manufacture of the products by manufacture of the chemicals then quality control quality control is one of the most important department quality of the starting compound as well as quality of the product which is checked by using a quality control department. So quality control is a system of a routine technical, technical activities to measure and control the quality of the product. So quality of the product which is maintained. Some of the chemical industry or some of the pharmaceutical industry that required a highly pure product. So that product must be checked by using a quality control department. So quality control department check the product as well as the incoming starting compound. Sometimes starting compound which is coming from the another industry. So that starting compound may be having 99% purity. If that compound is 99% pure or not, which is checked by using a quality control department. Means the starting compound as well as product both, uh, both checked by using a quality control department. So this is the routine activity in the chemical industry. And whatever uh, impurities is present in the compound which is printed out means uh, uh, that uh, data must be provided to the another department. So documentation and official record which is maintained by using a quality control department. So high technical industries for example pharmaceutical industry, pharmaceutical industry required 99.9% .9 pure means highly pure chemical which is required in the manufacture of pharmaceutical compounds. So pharmaceutical compound that required a highly pure chemicals. Semiconductor that um, also required a 100% purity. Microchip industry that also required a 100% purity. Means compounds, starting compounds which are required in the pharmaceutical or semiconductor or the microchip industry that must be 100% pure. If there is a impurity then such type of the compound which is not acceptable. So quality control department must be watched the all the reaction or uh, the product that product must be pure 
pure or not which is checked by using a quality control department different industries required a different types of the grades for example reagent grade chemicals that may be having a 99 or 98 percent purity means if there is a some impurity that is acceptable because that is that reagent that chemical is the reagent grade technical grade that also having 99 percent purity analytical grade that must be pure analytical grade chemicals 99.9 percent .9 pure and the reagent grade that is a less pure spectroscopic purity this is the highly pure uh, that is required in the pharmaceutical or semiconductor industry or microchip uh, chip industry that require a spectroscopic purity means that compound must be pure means there is no impurity 100 percent pure uh, that is known as a spectroscopic purity means different chemical industry that required a different types of the purity and which is maintained by using a quality control department then quality insurance quality insurance is a uh, same role like a quality control department only the function of both department is slightly different the activity which include a plan synthesis of a review measures gone by the personnel or not directly involved in the inventory completion means this quality insurance department which is directly involved in the manufacturer by while the quality control which is required after the manufacture means this quality control department find out the mistake in the manufacturing manufacturing of the chemicals to coordinate quality assurance and quality control activities in the response uh, responsibility and inventory agencies the inventory agency should also see that the uh, other organization follow the qa and qc plan means quality assurance and quality control both department actually maintain the quality of the product by using a international standards so quality control department or uh, the quality assurance uh, some chemicals that may be there is a symbol that symbol indicates such type of the chemical which is controlled by quality control department or the quality assurance department so what is the difference between quality assurance and quality control department so quality assurance department which is involved in the process means the chemical process uh, whatever chemical process which is carried out and standard of the chemical process which is maintained by using a quality assurance department and quality control means output means quality control department which is uh, which is depends upon a output means uh, which is uh, depend on the product so quality control department which is find out the mistake in the product whatever impurity present in the product which is find out by using a quality control department so proactive and reactive then prevent mistake means this quality assurance department which is prevent the mistake which is carried out in the chemical reaction so different types of the chemical reaction that required different types of the uh, different types of the conditions so which all these conditions are the uh, flow rate then physical parameters like temperature pressure all these maintain or if such type of the uh, not maintain then uh, quality assurance department maintain all these procedure means this department find out the mistake in the process while the quality control department find out the mistake in the product if the product is not 100 percent pure then this uh, department suggests the whatever type of the impurity which is present in the product so both department which is involved in the quality of the product Aud uh, auditing and testing auditing and testing then whole team is required means whole team is responsible for the quality assurance while only specific team means those uh, team uh, which is sin, uh, which is analyze the product uh, which is uh, required uh, which specific team is required for the quality control department and whole team which is required in the quality assurance department then process control post process control means the different chemical industry that required a different types of the temperature so temperature concentration pressure time flow rate flow all these are the uh, most important parameters in the chemical industry means some of the reaction which is must be under control means some reaction that carried out at the 50 percent 50 degree celsius temperature that temperature must be maintained if temperature re, uh, increase by one degree or decrease by one degree then quality of the product is decrease or increase and the rate uh, uh, rate of the reaction also decrease or increase so uh, every chemical industry that must be maintained all these parameters 
the control of variables such as temperature. So most important parameter is the temperature. Then concentration, concentration of the reactant as well as the solvent. Pressure, pressure in some reaction that required the atmospheric pressure. So temp pressure must be maintained. If pressure, if pressure increase or decrease, that may be, if pressure increase, that may be uh, have a, some explosive. So that is also maintained by using a process control department. Then time flow. Time is also important, a specific batch that required a specific time, maybe half hour, maybe one hour or two hour. So whatever time is required for that reaction, that is must be maintained. Then flow rate of the reactants. So reactants must be flow through the constant rate. So all these parameters that is most important in the chemical industry. So the, this is known as a process control. So process control, which is in the intermediate time, must be checked by using a some small equipment that is known as a TLC. TLC plate is check. For example, if the reaction reaction time is two hour, so intermediate time means half an hour must be checked whatever reactant that convert into the product. So TLC one of the most important equipment or most important testing apparatus which is required in the chemical industry. So reaction is completed or not, primary stage primarily tested by using a TLC plate. So in this react, uh, in this uh, TLC plate, uh, R1 means the starting compound and after reaction we get the different types of the spot that indicates the uh, starting compound which is slightly convert into the product and the starting compound if completely vanished that indicates the reaction is completed. Then the process control almost all raw material in chemical process industry are tested by chemical methods. Analysis of the intermediate product during the manufacturing of the process means analysis of the intermediate product by using a TLC or nowadays so use a, some different types of the sophisticated instruments for the analysis of the intermediate compound. In modern chemical plants process control is achieved through the use of automatic and instrumental methods. So all these automatic instruments and instrumental methods which detect the reactant is complete uh, reactant that convert into the product or not. The main function of the automation or the instrumentation is to reduce the time as well as reduce the production cost and uniform quality of the product. So quality of the product increases by using a atomization. And nowadays, every chemical industry that must be atomized, that use a different types of the equipment. For example, analog instrument show the result by the mechanical movement of some devices, which is proportional to the quality. Means quality of the product is good or not, which is uh, analyzed by using a analog instrument. Digital instrument, the quality is measured by means of a signal. So some specific signal that is recorded in the instrument if the reaction is completed or not. So in this uh, today's lecture, uh, we discuss about the different types of the basic requirement for the chemical industry. So student must be assigned following questions, explain the term unit operation and unit process with a suitable example. Then what are basic requirement of a chemical industry? What are the uh, different types of the basic requirement for the chemical industry? Write a note on chemical classification of the chemical reaction. So different types of the chemical reactions which are required in the different chemical industry. So in the today's lecture, we discuss about the raw material, unit process, unit operation, quality control, quality assurance and process control. All these parameters we discuss in the today's lecture. And in the next lecture, we discuss about the research and development. So research and development is also most important parameter in the chemical industry. So every chemical industry that must be having research and development department. Then pollution control, pollution control means some chemical industry, for example, dyes industry, then paper industry, there is a pollution. So pollution control is also most important department in the chemical industry. Then human resources means different, different types of the humans, different types of the human which is required for the chemical industry. Then safety measures. So in some chemical industry that may be required gas. So safety measure means the different types of the chemicals like H2SO4 or the different types of the hazardous material which is must be safe to use. So all these points we discuss in the next lecture. So today we stop here and we will meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much.